MicroStation contains a variety of different types of placement tools. These are meant to accommodate different requirements when working with design geometry. Regardless of the active tool, the same basic principles of tool operation may be applied. In this lesson, you will explore basic tool operation. Here, inside of the MicroStation Connect Edition, we'll begin by opening the Elevation Details DGN file. This can be found in the O3 Using General Tools folder. The ribbon style interface of the MicroStation Connect Edition can be seen. We'll begin this exercise by opening the models dialog. From here, we'll double click the door types model to make it active. The view windows help you make the most of your system. The view windows are where you view the geometry of your design. MicroStation provides support for using up to eight views simultaneously. You can configure and save the view window arrangement for maximum efficiency, taking into account your system, your project, and your working style. From the view tools along the edge of the view window, we'll now click zoom in. Here, we'll observe the tool settings window and then enter three as the zoom ratio. From the keyboard, we'll go ahead and press the tab key to apply the new value. Here, we can observe the change to the zoom window that is attached to the cursor. The window has resized to match the value of the zoom ratio. Each time a zoom is performed, the window will zoom in, making the geometry that is displayed in the view three times larger. Take note, it is considered a best practice to press the tab key after inputting the last changed value in the dialogs and the tool settings window. This typically applies the change without initiating an action, allowing modifications to other settings to be made as required. So now we're gonna zoom in to the location indicated by placing a data point this will be the door type that leads in and out of the kitchen area. We'll go ahead and press reset, a right mouse click, to stop the zoom command returning to the previous tool. MicroStation contains the following basic mouse functions. The left button, or data, is used to provide input and select elements and commands. This is also known as entering a data point. The right button, or reset, will cancel or complete an operation. The left-right button cord, also known as tentative, is used to provide tentative snap points. And the right button press and hold, this will access the context menu. Through preferences accessed from the backstage, the functions of the mouse may be defined to suit your needs. So next, we're going to select the Play Smart Line tool from the placement ribbon group. Observe the tool settings window. The available settings shown in the tool settings window will vary based upon the specific tool chosen. Next, from the annotate ribbon tab in the patterns ribbon group, we're going to select the hatch area and then observing the tool settings window. It may be also necessary to expand the tool settings window to view all the available settings and these settings may vary upon the placement method chosen. As we look into the view, near the top of door type one, there is some geometry missing. To observe this, you may need to zoom or pan to view this area. In the home tab of the ribbon, observe the active attributes. The attributes need to be set correctly before creating new geometry. One of the easiest ways to do this is by matching an existing element that has the correct attributes. Attributes are accessed frequently in most designs and review workflows. In the ribbon, we're now going to place the cursor over attributes and then press and hold the right mouse button to open the right click menu. From this right click menu, you can pick pin to current workflow. This will make attributes always visible in this workflow, regardless of the active ribbon tab. Pinning attributes is an optional step. Providing access to a frequently used set of tools can be a time-saving benefit. Now, from the selection ribbon group, we're going to make the element selection tool active. And then, coming into the view, 
we're going to hover the cursor over the line work that makes up the door framing. The element should highlight and produce a tooltip when fully hovered over. This is a feature of AccuSnap. Now, from the keyboard, hold down the Alt key and left click the line, and then observe the active attributes. This allows MicroStation to match the attributes of the element on the fly. This can be done at any time, even if a command has already been started. In our next task, we're going to draw a line to complete the door framing. So, from the Home tab, in the Placement Ribbon group, we're going to then pick the Place Smart Line tool. And then, place a data point at the end of the line segment at this location here snapping to the end of the original door frame line. Next, we'll place a second data point at this location here, again, snapping to the end of the existing door frame. And then we can press reset or right mouse click. Observe that the line segment is terminated, but the place smart line command remains active. Let's press escape. The second line is completed and the smart line command is terminated returning to the element selection. Element selection is the default command in MicroStation. Enabling the setting escape exit command and user preferences makes it easy to return to this useful tool. During this lesson, you learned how to take control of the mouse by learning the basic mouse functions in MicroStation. These functions included the left mouse button, also referred to as the data, this is used to provide input and select elements and commands. This is also known as entering a data point. The right mouse button, or reset, this will cancel or complete an operation. The right left button cord, also known as tentative, is used to provide tentative snap points. And when you press and hold the right mouse button, this will access the context menu. Also during this lesson, View attributes were used to adjust the display of geometry in the view window and the right-click context menu was used to exchange to a reference file for editing. Also covered was basic tool interaction using the three-step rule of tool interaction and the importance of the tool settings window. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.